Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's video guys is gagawa tayo ng another photo transition. And if you are interested in this video guys, just keep on watching. And if you are new to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell for you to notify every time that I upload new CapCut tutorial videos. And without further ado guys, let's begin this video. So, ang una lang natin gagawin is i-open natin si CapCut which is yung editor na gagamitin natin. And then, pagka-open natin guys, punta lang tayo sa project. And then, create lang tayo ng bagong project. And then, next naman is punta tayo sa photos. So, mag-select lang tayo ng image na gagamitin natin. And for this edit guys is 9 image yung gagamitin natin. So, select lang muna tayo ng 9 image. Next naman is So, select lang muna natin. Ayan. And then, pagka-select natin guys, punta tayo or i-add natin yung image. And then, pag na-add na natin, punta muna tayo sa format and then, select natin yung 9x16. And then, next naman is add tayo ng audio. So, select lang natin yung add audio and then, extracted. And then, punta tayo sa overlay na gagamitin natin or yung video na kukuna natin ng audio. And then, select natin yung import sound only. And then, next naman guys is i-adjust natin yung duration ng bawat image. So, ang duration ng first image natin is 5.4 seconds. And then, yung second image is 0.8 second. And then, yung third image is 0.8 second din. And then, yung fourth image is 0.9 second. And then, yung fifth image is 0.8 second. And then, sixth image is 0.8. And then, yung ninth yung 7th image is 0.9 second and then yung 8th image is 0.9 ulit and then yung last image is 0.8 and then next naman is i-delete lang natin tong watermark and then i-adjust natin yung audio natin and then select natin yung main audio natin and then punta tayo sa volume so hinaan lang muna natin siya para hindi na makakastop and then next naman guys is ikakrap muna natin yung image para magsakto dun sa resolution so select lang natin yung image and then edit and then next naman is crop and then select natin yung 9x16 and then zoom in lang natin para mag fit sya dun sa resolution So, lipat tayo dun sa second image and then punta ulit tayo sa edit and then i-crop natin to 9x16 and then i-reposition lang natin yung image para mas maganda and then i-zoom in lang natin ulit para mag-fit sya dun sa mismong screen resolution ayan So, tapusin lang natin yung pang so, so zoom in. Ayan. Then, next naman, pagtapos natin i-crop, guys, is maglagay tayo ng animation dun sa bawat image. So, select lang natin yung first image and then animation and then combo. So, hanapin lang natin dito yung pendulum 2. And then, select natin Masa para ma-apply. And then, move tayo sa second image. So, ang animation ng second image natin is left zoom. So, hanapin din lang natin. And then, punta tayo sa, sa third image. And then, hanapin natin yung right zoom. And then, select natin para apply And then, punta tayo sa fourth image. And then, left zoom ulit. So, paulit-ulit lang yung animation na ilalagay natin. And then, punta ulit tayo sa next image. And then, right zoom ulit 
And by the way guys, nandiyan naman sa screen yung animation. And pwede nyo naman baguhin kung ano yung animation na gusto ninyo. And then next naman guys is left zoom ulit. And then lipat tayo sa next image and then right zoom. And then left zoom ulit. And then yung last image is right zoom ulit. And then next naman guys is pagtapos natin maglagay ng animation and select natin yung transition and then hanapin lang natin yung white flash and then select natin yung apply to all para ma-apply sa lahat ng image. And then next naman guys is punta tayo sa paglalagay or sa pag-adjust ng audio ulit kasi i-render na natin siya. So select lang natin yung audio and then volume. And then, ibalik natin siya to 100%. And then, itry natin siya i-replay for a while. And then, guys, pwede nyo na siyang export as video. So, select lang natin yung setting sa taas. And then, select 720. And then, i-export na natin. And then, pag taas mag-export, guys, pwede nyo nang i-post sa inyong social media account like TikTok, Facebook, or Instagram. And that's all for today's tutorial guys. Thank you.